Bye, doggers. Dino. Dino. Bye. 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 <laughs> we are leaving Lockhart State Park where we've been camping for the past two weeks and on to new adventures. This morning we are heading to Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, which is in San Antonio. It'd be nice to have a little uh, thrill after our time being sick and our time in some small towns. And it'd be a good time. Kind of go back more to like our kind of pace of things. Another day, another theme park. Am I right? Alright. <laughs> oh man, I'm excited. First time in a Six Flags park together. And it's really pretty here. Like the, the design of the park is gorgeous. Lots of colors and great architecture. It's nice. Yeah, first impressions are pretty good. We've already ridden like three of these. They're pretty bad coasters, but we'll get it out of the way. These are made by Vacoma and they just take you up backwards and then send you this way and then you go up the spike and then you go through the whole thing backwards. And they're super rough and uh, kind of intense. Ready to get rocked for the first ride. That wasn't as rough as we thought it was gonna be. That's good. Yeah, it made me pretty dizzy. <laughs> that was a good starter one. That was pretty thrilling. Yeah, yeah, we haven't had like thrills in a long time. So uh, that initial drop down was pretty... Yeah. Yeah. I was I think like grabbing your leg. <laughs> that's the best of those boomerang coasters that we've done so far. Yeah, totally. Cool. Again. We have never ridden one of these types of like four dimensional coasters before. So we're pretty excited. Oh my God. No idea what this is even gonna feel like. That's pretty crazy. Some theming. Yeah. And then back out in the heat. That was really intense, really strange. Never ridden anything like that. Never, we've never ridden anything like that. That was so intense, the way that the seats whip you around. Um, so the restraints were pushed down really tightly on us, and I was like, oh, this is not gonna be comfortable. But even with it being pushed down tightly, you're being whipped so fast, it feels like you're falling out of your seat. Yeah, it was like violent. And the ride is like super short, but like, super violent like spinning yeah. crazy yeah that was wow what, <laughs> what a ride time for poltergeist Oh, this is cool. Look at that. Yeah. Spooky. Zena. Wow. It's like a haunted house in here. 
How cool is this? Dispatching train in 10, 9, So that was a really strange ride. Um, it launches out and it has like a pretty intense beginning. And then it like gets up to the top and just kind of like circles down around and mellows out. And it's all condensed. Like it's supposed to be inside a show building. Like it's all like really tight, like, like Space Mountain or something, but it's outside. It's interesting. It is. The launch is really intense. So like all of the buildup and anxiety and like it's just like you're just waiting to be launched and the launch is very intense but the rest of the ride is pretty mellow and yeah like, let you calm down a little bit we were even like talking through part of it because it was just kind of like okay <laughs> super but, super strange yeah it was really cool the queue was amazing yeah the queue was the best part for sure and they get some food at the johnny rockets in here they have an impossible burger our johnny rockets here is closed so there's one other one hopefully that one's open but while we're over here we're gonna hit pandemonium it's a gerslauer spinner we've never ridden a spinner before either or gerslauers Yeah, it was kind of like a more intense, fun version of a wild mouse coaster. I especially liked this little part where we went in like a spiral and the car kind of faced in the whole time. Yeah. That was really cool. It was like a whirlpool kind of feel. Yeah. No, I really liked that. That was a good ride. We found a place called Chop Six and they had uh, some Chinese vegetables and white rice. 18 something for this, and we'll share it. It was a better option than a Beyond Burger with no bun at... Which they, I don't think they even had. Yeah. Better option than, than French fries or onion, onion rings. rings. Yeah. So, here we go. Our post-lunch tradition of riding something spinny. Here to Vol Dive, steampunk flyer thing. Didn't love it. What do you think? Um, while we were waiting in line, somebody got sick on the ride, and that's why it took forever. But I understand why they got sick. That is like, very intense and disorienting. You're spinning, going upside down for a really long time. Um, it was okay. Didn't love it. <laughs> That's my least favorite BNM we've ever ridden. Did it, not like it. Yeah, it's just like really shaky and not smooth and yeah. Um, really rough, but it seems like Superman should be like a smooth gliding ride. And yeah. This was not. Yeah. It was Boom. Not. It's time for Wonder Woman Golden Lasso Coaster. This is an RMC <laughs> Raptor model, which we've never ridden. It rides on a single rail, like toboggan style. And it's unlike anything we've done before. It's so smooth. Ooh. So this is the first of four of this model of roller coaster in existence currently. I did not like it. It was whippy, which was nice, but then it was like rough and rattly. Yeah, it's, I think it's just showing its age. Maybe. Or something. It's just like a little too rough. I did like the it's whipping. Only, like, it's only four years old, by the way. It is thrilling, but it hurt. It like physically hurts to ride it, which I'm not a fan of. And the restraints, they're called uh, comfort collars. 
and they hurt and they're uncomfortable and it, it doesn't let you have any air time. It just pushes you down as yeah. far as you can go. Nope. That's me in pain. We stopped into a saloon because it's nice and cold in here and a little bit darker and we order a rum and coke frozen. We're gonna share it. After some pretty rough coasters, we needed a little break. We're a little shaken up. <laughs> Dive poster here is under construction, set to open later this year. Time for Iron Rattler, another RMC. Down, please pull as close to your chest as possible. That was the best ride so far. Oh yeah, that was great. It was smooth. It was a little short, but we got we sat in the back and we got whipped over the, the first hill, which was super steep. I love the part that went through the tunnel, like oh, into yeah, the quarry cool. wall. It was really cold and dark. It was awesome. Awesome. Great ride. Second to last coaster. Meet me. Roadrunner Express. Uh, old. Old and rough and a little, um, makes me a little uneasy with the uh, uphill. Yeah, the, the chains were, were pretty janky. Yeah, it would like rock the cars back and forth, like on the side, which it was very unnerving. It wasn't rough, rough, but like it kind of barreled through the course and everything was like a little bit too much. Yeah. But like the track wasn't like shaky. I don't know. But it wasn't slowly. terrible, but it wasn't good. Yeah, not good. Our last coaster of the day at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas, was Goliath. Looks like similar to Raptor, it's a B&M. Very similar layout. Should be a good time. Super intense. Yeah. Um, the, we had to ride twice because there was nobody waiting. And the first time was pretty good. The second time, I didn't feel so hot afterwards. Yeah, I, I mean, either it was a little bit queasy and out of sorts. And My head has just been banged around too much today. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we definitely went hard on all these rides, and, and these rides aren't very smooth compared to some of the other other rides that we've. They're just really intense. A lot of them are really intense and different than. Yeah than we're used to, or I don't know, not as gentle or something. I'm not yeah. sure exactly what's different, but good day overall, I think, right? Yeah, really good day, had fun. So the first thing of note about uh, Six Flags Fiesta Texas was that we never waited longer than maybe 30 minutes. Yeah. But most of the waits were walk-ons. The longest waits were the first coaster that we did and then the flying ride, which somebody got sick on and so it took a while to clean up. We also noticed that most of the delays seemed to be caused by like not running very many trains or like um, just inefficiencies in staffing or something. So that might, change, that might also change like as it gets busier later in the season. And if the wait was long, it wasn't terrible because a lot of the queues were very interesting and fun. Um, and in the shade, we weren't burning alive. Like sometimes in Cedar Point, we feel Yeah, that totally. Overall, the park is in a really beautiful location. It probably rivals only Cedar Point, where Cedar Point's on the peninsula and you get awesome views of the lake. This is set down inside a quarry and some of the rides like play off that by going up on the quarry wall or through it in the case of Iron Rattler. The entrance to the park itself has a beautiful waterfall with a sign and then also an area of the park where there are more waterfalls where you can just sort of sit and relax and it's just really pleasant. The food here is probably the worst for vegans that we've found so far. We give it a one out of 10. 
because we did find at least this small vegetable dish at a place called Chop Six. It was okay, but a small quantity. There were no other options. It was pathetic. And we kind of knew that going into it. We've, we've had uh, not very good luck with smaller theme parks like this compared to Universal or Disney. Um, but it was still very disappointing to not have many options for, um, for vegans. So we get the theming of Six Flags Fiesta Texas, a 7 out of 10. There's really cool theming throughout the park. There's like a steampunk area and the entrance area too, which is the sort of fiesta feel. The queues were surprisingly very impressive here. Poltergeist was one of the roller coasters that we rode and just entering, you're seeing like a graveyard and you actually see the poltergeist like on top of the building and he's really scary. And then we enter into a haunted house. It was just very like transporting, um, something that we haven't really seen in a theme park other than Disney or Universal. And it was very, very impressive. Batman's key was very cool too. We got to see Batmobile and his suit. And Wonder Woman's was like in a temple. You know, one of the things that separates an amusement park like Cedar Point from a theme park like Disney or Universal is that theming level. And this actually approached um, a level of theming that you might see at like uh, a, a not as impressive Disney park or something, which was pretty surprising. It just made the waits shorter and we just really enjoyed all of that. It just made the whole experience even more fun. The quality of rides was a little bit all over the map, overall a 5 out of 10, and that's mostly brought up by Iron Rattler. Without that it would be probably much lower. There were some really impressive rides like Iron Rattler and some that were actually surprisingly terrible, like um, Wonder Woman's Golden Lasso Coaster. We were expecting to be pretty impressive. It's new, it's got a very uh, highly acclaimed manufacturer, and it was so rough. When you were watching it from a distance, it looks so fun and smooth, and it's just the opposite of both of those things. They also focus a lot on some of the older B&M types, which are more about heavy, positive Gs, and that just wears on you over time. Like, having something that's light and smooth, like Iron Rattler, just, like, mixes things up so much. Yeah, we were, we were just so happy when we got off of that ride because we had so many rides back to back that were rough and our heads felt shaken up, we felt dizzy, um, and to have like a smooth ride and really just enjoy the feeling and the thrill, it was just very pleasant. We give the overall park rating a 6 out of 10. I think we really enjoyed our day here. Um, just overall, a lot of things just sort of work together. Each part is not great, but when they come together, it makes for a really good part. Yeah, especially in comparison to some of the other parks that we've been to, Carowinds comes to mind that was kind of terrible across the board. This had some low lights and definitely doesn't have as many highlights as Disney or Universal's parks. So I think 6 out of 10 is like kind of right in the middle. It's pretty perfect for it. Definitely. Uh, for our very first Six Flags Park, we are pretty happy with that. But we do know that a lot of the Six Flags Parks aren't as nice as this one. Um, but we're excited to see some more over time. We got some beautiful palomas with these edible flowers. They look lovely. You're like really pretty. That bird? Is really pretty? Hey, hey, you're like really pretty. Yeah. Enjoy your snack. <laughs> Carne asada fries. And a po' boy. How's your po' boy? Really good. I love the oyster mushrooms in that. It's like lots of texture. And the aioli is a little spicy. It's really good. How's yours? Mine is like super dank. It's really good. These little chunks of their vegan carne asada in here and the cheese sauce and the guac and the jalapenos, it's all just come together perfectly. You said you're starting to get into jalapenos now. I know dangerous. I know. <laughs>